If you're over 30 and your morning wood isn't what it used to be, that's not just getting older, that's your body sending up a flare. And here's the crazy part. Those early morning erections are one of the simplest, clearest signs of your hormone and heart health. But no one's talking about it. Think about it, you used to wake up like clockwork, no effort required. Now, you glance down and think, hey buddy, are we still on the same team? This isn't just about sex, it's about whether your blood vessels, nerves, and testosterone are firing on all cylinders. In this video, I'm breaking it all down, why morning wood fades as you age, what that really says about your health, and most importantly, how to bring it back naturally. We're talking real science, real studies, not internet myths. And stick around because I'm sharing a nighttime smoothie hack that might sound crazy, but just might flip that switch back on. Let's get into it. So first things first, what's actually happening down there while you're dreaming? Morning Wood has an official name, Nocturnal Penile Tumescence, or MPT. Sounds fancy, right? But here's the deal. MPT is completely normal. It usually happens during REM sleep. That's a deep, dream-heavy sleep cycle where your brain goes wild and your body basically paralyzes itself so you don't act out your dreams. During REM, your parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest mode takes over. Noradrenaline drops, blood vessels relax, and suddenly there's a surge of blood flow downstairs. And no, it's not necessarily about erotic dreams. Even babies in the womb experience MPT. This is your body's internal checkup, a signal that your blood flow, nerves, and hormones particularly testosterone, are working as they should. Here's another fun fact. REM sleep episodes get longer as the night goes on. That's why these morning check-ins usually show up right before you wake up, just when REM is peaking. If you've ever woken up mid-dream and mid-flagpole, now you know why. Now let's talk aging. People often imagine it's like a light switch. One day everything works, the next day nothing. But biology doesn't flip like that. It's more like a dimmer switch, gradually sliding down over decades. Let's look at what real research shows. First up, 2014 MF Van Driel's review, sleep-related erections throughout the ages, Journal of Sexual Medicine, using decades of sleep lab data, Van Driel showed that teenage boys can spend over 30% of their total sleep time with erections. By the time you're in your 60s, that number drifts to around 20%. Not a cliff, more of a long, steady dimming. What's fascinating is that Van Driel also highlighted the role of REM sleep itself. As we age, REM cycles become slightly shorter and fragmented, which contributes to fewer spontaneous erections. So it's not just testosterone, it's a sleep architecture itself, subtly shifting over time, quietly dimming those morning wake-up calls. Go back further, 1988, Karakan et al. Nocturnal Penile Tumescence in Healthy Aging Men, Journal of Urology. They use strain gauges, devices that literally measure every erection during sleep, and found a decade by decade decline in both the frequency and rigidity of nighttime erections. Why? Partly because testosterone slowly dips, arteries get less flexible, and even the reflex nerves that trigger automatic erections become a little less sharp. Interestingly, Karakan's work also suggested that men with better cardiovascular fitness or who maintained higher physical activity had a slower decline in nocturnal erections. This hinted early on that lifestyle could buffer some of the age-related loss, showing that biology isn't the whole story. Habits matter too. And then 2003, Forrester et al. sleep-related erections in elderly men with partial androgen deficiency, Journal of Andrology, older men with low testosterone had fewer and weaker nocturnal erections, but when treated with DHT, dihydrotestosterone, a potent testosterone metabolite, their nighttime erections improved significantly. In other words, this isn't just aging, it's often hormone and vascular health that can respond to treatment. Forrester also observed that improvements weren't uniform. Men with underlying vascular issues or diabetes saw smaller gains. This makes it clear, morning wood is a window into your overall systemic health, not just your bedroom performance. All these studies together show that a gradual decline is normal, but abrupt changes are a signal. And the story doesn't stop at frequency. The clinical importance becomes even clearer when we link it to health outcomes. In morning erection frequency and erectile dysfunction risk, researchers found that men who wake up with fewer than one morning erection per week 2.5 more times likely to develop erectile dysfunction 
later on. That's a striking statistic and it frames Morning Wood not as a trivial nuisance but as a meaningful biomarker. Doctors also use MPT as an early warning sign for cardiovascular disease. Why? Because the penile arteries are tiny, about one third the size of coronary arteries. Impaired blood flow often shows up there first, long before you notice symptoms in your heart or brain. And here's a clinical trick. If you don't have MPT, but you can still perform during sex, it's usually psychological. If you're missing both, no morning wood and performance issues, then it's almost certainly physiological. Fading morning wood isn't just about testosterone, it reflects your vascular health, hormone balance, nervous system function, sleep quality, and even overall metabolic state. Think of it as a signal your body is sending, one you can actually influence with better lifestyle habits, quality sleep, and targeted interventions. Paying attention here isn't just about sex, it's about tuning into your overall health. All right, now we get to the fun part. How do you actually bring morning wood back? And not just for the sake of bragging rights, it's about boosting testosterone, circulation, and overall health while you sleep. Let's break it down. First up, testosterone. It really does matter. Foresta's 2003 studies showed that men with low testosterone had weaker, shorter nocturnal erections. And when androgen levels were restored, those nighttime erections bounce back. But before you think you need hormone therapy, hear me out. Most guys can make huge improvements naturally. Start with the basics, resistance training, getting enough protein, managing stress, and keeping your body fat in check. These aren't just gym tips, they're hormone hacks. Small wins here alone can make a massive difference. Next, think about your arteries. Healthy blood vessels equals healthy erections. Biology doesn't lie. Your arteries need to be clear, flexible, and responsive. Mediterranean style eating, regular cardio, no smoking, controlling blood pressure, and keeping cholesterol and insulin levels in check. These aren't just healthy tips, they're morning wood insurance. And here's a fun addition, pomegranates. Research has shown that daily pomegranates can improve endothelial function, boost nitric oxide, and increase blood flow. Basically, it's giving the arteries a tune-up from the inside out. Even a handful a day can make a meaningful difference over time. You can also incorporate other circulation-friendly foods, beetroot, which is high in nitrates and supports nitric oxide production, and dark chocolate, which contains flavanols that relax blood vessels. Little tweaks like this can stack up over weeks, helping your body deliver more blood flow where it counts. Finally, sleep. Don't underestimate it. REM sleep is when nocturnal erections happen. Sleep apnea, late night stress, alcohol and blue light all crush REM. Fix your sleep and you'll often see morning wood return without a single supplement. Now here's a cheeky little biohack if you're feeling adventurous. I call it the nighttime anabolic shake. One to two scoops of whey protein. This helps muscle recovery and keeps your body in an anabolic state overnight. Two raw eggs, yes raw, they're packed with healthy fats, B vitamins and cholesterol, the raw building blocks for testosterone. Of course, make sure your eggs are pasteurized or from a trusted source. And remember, this is optional and it's a fun experiment if you like biohacks. Why does it work? Protein and healthy fats before bed give your body the raw materials it needs for repair and hormone production. You're literally fueling testosterone and tissue recovery while you sleep, a natural nighttime performance boost. Finally, let's talk habits before bed. This is where most guys unknowingly sabotage themselves. Digital sunset, switch off screens at least an hour before bed. Blue light messes with melatonin, which messes with REM. Light movement, a short walk, gentle stretching or foam rolling calms the nervous system and primes your body for deep REM. Something that's optional, the nighttime anabolic shake I mentioned a few minutes ago. If you're doing it, have it 30 to 60 minutes before bed. Then we have wind down ritual, breathing exercises, reading, journaling, whatever helps you relax. Stress right before bed crushes REM, so don't skip this. And let's not forget your sleep environment. Dark, cool, around 18 degrees and obviously quiet. And one last tip, track your morning wood. Jot down frequency every day for a couple of weeks. The data doesn't lie. You'll start seeing patterns, noticing improvements and understanding what actually works for you. This isn't about chasing some bragging right. 
it's about paying attention to your health. Morning wood is like a free daily health check. If it's fading, your body's telling you something's off. The good news, you can fix it. Prioritize quality sleep, improve your blood flow, support your hormones, and try that simple nighttime routine. Track your progress, you'll be surprised how quickly things bounce back. Here's your challenge. Follow these steps for a week, then drop a comment and let me know, did your morning check-ins improve? If this video helped you, hit like, subscribe for more real talk on testosterone and men's health. And let's keep building strong, healthy bodies from the inside out. See you in the next one.